Hi, welcome back to the farm. We sure appreciate you being here. <laughs> Today, Nora and I are gonna pick some tomatoes and peppers and we thought we'd bring you along. And then after we get done picking, I am going to make some cowboy candy. We made that for the first time uh, about a month ago and the family loves it. So now we're gonna make more. And uh, that way we can put it away and have some cowboy candy all through the winter. So again, thank you for being here. Stay tuned. Hopefully you'll have some fun with us on the farm today. Planted a few varieties of peppers. This is a jalapeno pepper. And that is what we are after today to see if we are gonna have enough jalapenos to do a batch of cowboy candy. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Some nice looking ones. We have some that are not quite big enough. I want to give them a little more time to grow. So we only want to pick the larger peppers. Hey, see, those are blooms. Those blooms, and hopefully, will turn into more peppers. See, them's are not too bad. But see, like, this one, that's too little. So that one's too little. This one's okay, and that one's okay. Nope, now see how it grows down? See how, look at it. See how that's growing down like that? If you lift the opposite direction, it'll pop right off. Yeah, lift it the opposite way it grows. <laughs> right? Popped right off, right? So, yeah, good job. Because you shouldn't have to pull real hard, because if you pull real hard, you could take a chance of the plant breaking, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want that now down here at the bottom, baby. All right, and down under there, them oh, bigger yeah. ones. Can you grab them for me, me? Yeah, it's like a like an Easter egg hunt, only for peppers. Now, do not touch your face with your hands. You hear me? Because it's spicy. So you definitely touch. don't touch your eyes. Yeah, that's why I touch. I only touch my nose. Well, that's alright. The leaves aren't spicy. Okay. Now, looky. Hey, see that one right here? You see the difference between the two, Nora? Look how that one's dark, and see how these leaves on this plant are kind of fuzzy, right? Yeah. Right? That's a serrano pepper. That's a very, very spicy pepper. <laughs> so we don't want to pick any of those, right? See that big one back there? Yeah. See how dark it is? It doesn't look like this leaf, does it? Yeah. No, see it's a darker green, right? Yeah. So you don't want to pick them, just these. You see like that one there? Yeah. That's a good one too. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Deal. Those are banana peppers. So we're gonna pick those too, but we're gonna pick these first. And then we'll take them. We'll take a bit I dropped one. I dropped one! I got a heat one! Yeah. Yeah. You need the basket, babe? Yeah. Andrew, you shouldn't have to pull hard. You pull hard. You pull them right away. Yeah, that's ripening. She wanted to say this one's turning black, she says.
right? That's why I'm going to show you again. See how that pepper is growing on there? See how it goes this way? So if you take the pepper and you bring it back the other way, it comes right off. I didn't have to pull my plants at all, right? So that's the way we need to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Now these hot ones turn red. That's what I gave to Daddy. And we're just gonna let them. Good job. Turn red. Let me just bring you over here so that you can really kind of see. I mean, this is our, gosh, probably eighth picking this. off of these rows. I see that. You found good ones. Also, yeah. together on accident. That's okay. Yeah. We don't mind green ones. We'll eat them too. But, I mean, this is just, you're in. They're going, still going nuts. I mean, there's tomatoes in there crazy so I'm just gonna look at all the Romans down there I'm just gonna get them out diesel get out of my tomatoes you little turd biscuit and uh, make some sauce this that way they don't go to waste I have of yes you do you're doing a great job there girlfriend <laughs> Crazy. You're just nuts. I mean, obviously, they're not as big now as they were when they first came on, but they're tomatoes nonetheless. And then these hot things. They're doing pretty good. I picked a bunch of them already. So now that we picked our maters and our peppers, we're gonna go ahead and take these inside. Okay, 
show it. Try to show us something. Look at you go, girl. Cause it's fun, ain't it? Yes. yes. They probably rigged that one up for you, huh? Yep. It's amazing. Sit down. Look at you go, girlfriend. All right, I'm gonna get these tomatoes and banana peppers inside, and I'll bring you along as we make some cowboy candy. Okay, so now that we're inside, it is time to make some cowboy candy. So I, uh, Belly and I, actually were able to harvest four pounds of jalapenos. Um, I have some of the brine left over from when I did the last batch, so uh, the recipe calls for three pounds. I have four, I'm gonna use the little bit from the last batch as well, so that should cover enough. You're gonna need six cups of sugar. It says three cloves of garlic, but I have um, minced garlic here from Costco. I'm going to probably use about three teaspoons of that. Turmeric powder, half a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of celery seed. And then it says a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I do not have cayenne pepper. I have homemade serrano chili powder. Uh, got it granulated I'm gonna use. A teaspoon of that two cups of apple cider vinegar and it should turn out looking like that it's been in the fridge so it's getting some condensation on it but it is delicious first step to cut up the peppers and to do that you're definitely going to want to wear gloves the capsaicin uh, is all over these peppers and that is a very spicy on the skin as well as even worse in any open area eyes or anything like that so you definitely want to be protected when you're working with peppers I'm going to go ahead and chop the end off and then basically you want these in about I don't know in between an eighth and a quarter and it's just a good slice you don't want it too small because it'll be soggy but you don't want it too big either two bowls one for discard and one for the peppers to go in I'm gonna get these chopped up well they're all sliced up and now it's time to go ahead and start cooking up our candy brine. You're also going to need a water bath canner, lids, jars, you know, the good stuff, right? Okay, we're going to go ahead and get our burner on a medium high heat. Add the sugar. Two cups of vinegar, apple cider, half a teaspoon turmeric, half a teaspoon celery seed. Gonna do a full teaspoon of the Serrano chili powder, but you could use cayenne chili powder. Woohoo, I got in my nose now. I don't want it too garlic. I don't want the garlic to overpower it. So I think I'm only going to do two teaspoons of garlic. That's what I did last time, and it was delicious. Stir. get rid of the metal spoon. I really should be 
using a wooden spoon and we are going to bring this up to a boil. I had to uh, switch spoons again. The other wooden spoon fell in there. It was so short. I oh, know I got the one I usually use. But I have it on medium high because I stand here and I stir it constantly so it's not going to burn. If you're not going to stand and stir this constantly, you're going to want to let it heat up gradually. But you have to, at some point, kind of stand here and watch it and bring it up to a boil. So now you can see I'm starting to, to get a boil, especially when I stir it. So I'm going to let this cook for about two or three minutes um, once it reaches where it's actually, I see it boiling. There we go. I'm seeing some bubbles. And there are some bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and set a timer. And I'm going to let this one go for three minutes. So now while I'm letting this boil under a three minute timer, right at the end of this timer, I got one minute left. I am, ooh, I leaned over that and breathed that in. I am going to go ahead and start my water bath canner so that I can bring that water up to a simmer so that when I add the jars in, there's not going to be much of a temperature difference. I'm not going to go from, you know, at that point this will have just been simmering to rolling boil or to cold water and having to wait. So, you know, just trying to keep the temperatures going. So now that's nice. Oh, nut, bubble, boil, good roll. I'm going to add the jalapenos. Jalapenos, jalapenos. I don't know how the right way is, but I say jalapeno. Or Jose jalapeno on a stick. Gonna let that go until these come down and uh, the brine boils again and then set a timer for five minutes and let them boil for five minutes and then uh, my timer. All right, thank you. And then once the Jalapenos have jalapenos, pinos. Once the peppers have boiled for five minutes, we'll start canning. By that time, that canner right there on the stove should be ready to go. Now, remember, there is six cups of sugar in here. This is so sticky. You definitely do not want to get this on your skin. I mean, it's not like pulled sugar, but it's it's sticky. It's it's hot. It stays hot for a minute. That's for sure. Still not boiling yet. So it just now started to come up to a simmer. It'll start boiling again here any second. The smell is divine. Alrighty, I got me a good simmer going. Back up to a boil. Set a timer of five minutes. And then we'll be ready to put it in the jars. The timer just went off. We have some very hot sticky peppers. These are warm, clean jars. Funnel. I have chopstick and I went ahead and got a slotted spoon. Clean lids and rings. I'm going to go ahead and work quite quickly here. I am going to just start filling the jars with the peppers. And we're going to leave about a quarter of an inch at the top. Belly's my camera lady. Belly, can you see okay? Yeah. What I'm doing? Yeah. Good, thank you. Let's 
Everything's been cleaned, sanitized. As far as the jars, I wash them with really hot soapy water. And then I just have them soak in really hot water while I'm cooking whatever I'm canning. And then that way they're warm and ready. You can also use your dishwasher, put them on the top rack, and just put it on heat dry and let them heat up. Either way, it's just important to have clean jars that are, you know, at least warm. You don't want to be putting really hot liquid into really cold jars. And I'm just tapping them down to make sure that the peppers fill the jar. Ooh, they're getting warmer. And we don't have a jar with a bunch of sweet juice and not hardly any peppers. Now, we want to go ahead and put our liquid in, leaving that quarter inch head space. There, Melissa, slow down, girlfriend. Maybe he's going too fast. You're gonna then take your chopstick or skewer or whatever you have, and you wanna just make sure that um, all the air bubbles are out. I have a towel with white, a paper towel with white vinegar on it. And I'm going to use that to wipe the rim before I put the, ooh, hand tight, hot stuff, the ring and lid on using my canning tongs. I'm going to place this right over inside the hot water bath canner. White vinegar helps clean that rim real good, especially when you're ooh, doing anything with a high sugar base, sticky base. I want to make sure you really get that I mean, rim good. Camera, I can't even see your face. Okay. I know. I'm just showing what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing or no? Yeah. As long as you can see what I'm doing, that's what's important. Ooh, shoot, that's hot. I know I've said that every time you think I've learned, but it's hot. No. That's ready to go. Got our jars in there. I'm going to be really careful about um, how high or how hard of a boil I bring these to because there is a lot of empty room in my canner. Uh, they recommend putting jars in there as spacers or placers, but I've been doing this a very long time and I find if I just regulate my heat and don't let it get to too big of a roll, uh, they won't jump over or fall. I have a good plate down there holding those bubbles and they're pretty steady. So, so as you can see, we've got a pretty good boil going on in there. I'm going to go ahead and regulate the temperature and keep it about at that boil for 15 minutes. Okay, it's been just boiling in there and steaming out the vent. Timer went off. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. And I am going to let this sit just like this until all that madness stops. All of the craziness stopped. I took the lid off. And now I am going to pull the jars out straight up bring them over where I'm going to place them and they are going to sit and stay for 24 hours. So as you can see we got where are they four pints of the cowboy candy about a quarter bushel because that's a half bushel basket of tomatoes and a nice size bowl of banana peppers. Nora Belly uh, left me and decided to go with um, Papa who came home and she is outside helping him unload his truck from working today. And I am just cleaning up the kitchen. I'm gonna put some Irish soda bread in the oven with some lasagna and then put my feet up and call it a day. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Who knows where this will go, but 
it's been kind of fun. So again, we appreciate you. And until next time, have a great day.